All right, so this is a problem. I got my cat's litter, but it's, well, there's litter going everywhere. I'm gonna show you what's going on. So it just doesn't have a box. Alpha, alpha, rums, comes, comes, flips, flips. It doesn't have a box. So I think what I'm gonna do is just make a little box just around it, deal. You know. Let's see how this goes. All right, so there's my template. Here's the piece of wood I'm gonna use, like that. Let's um, mark it and cut it. All right, so I've marked this out. I'm gonna make a couple of changes here. That's a loud thing. I'm gonna make a couple of changes here. It's easier if I just let the um, entire, I was gonna do a 26 inch base, but I think I'm just gonna do a wider base because it's just a couple less cuts. But I've got everything um, drawn out here. And now it is time to cut. So a lot of you guys have noticed that I do everything in the exact same way that a professional carpenter would, including have a fucking pencil in my ear. Cursing. So this is what we got, it's my template. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just drill holes and basically make it a small box. I'm gonna put like little tiny um, rails on the side. It's to catch, it's to catch the litter in it. Okay, so I've got one side cut and clamped. And I'm just gonna drop and measure, but then because I <laughs> am not good at this, I didn't realize that these guys are not the same width. So we're gonna have a little bit of an overlap here from the front to the side. And I think I'm just gonna try to make that pretty somehow, maybe like chisel it down and slope it. I'm definitely not Concernicus enough to stop. It's for cats. All right, we got most of a box. I'm gonna make these cuts here and the back half. And then, um, and then that's how that'll go. All right. I don't think I'm gonna make this back part, mostly because that's where the little like box is and litter doesn't go behind it. The door is like right here. Um, plus, <laughs> I love making adjustments that give me less work. So, it's now time to glue it and screw it, which as most of you know, was my stage name in high school. Okay, so I genuinely don't know whether I'm supposed to wa wait for this um, glue to dry um, before I start drilling and screwing, but I don't want to. So maybe I ruin everything, but considering that everything is a uh, litter box that I've made in an hour, mm, let's roll them bones. exploded which was always the concern um as anyone who's worked with wood knows like 80 percent of the time when you drill things they explode 
Um, and I don't mean split. I mean spontaneously combust. That's just common knowledge. After it rests, I will sand it. I might paint it because I'm a mouse. Um, but if we're honest, I probably won't because it's easier not to. Bad woodworking. All right. Pick it in a box. Nailed it.